If you're below 1000 elo, you're bad at chess. But don't worry, I was once like you, a low elo player with no hope in life and was about to end it all, until I learned three simple steps which took my rating from a 900 all the way up to a 1900. So pay attention, because if you're below 1000 elo or around 11 to 1200, by the end of this video you will have the ability to become at least 1900 at chess. The first step of increasing your rating is to learn a real opening, stop playing random moves at the start of the game and blundering into a 4 move checkmate. Now I know some of you think that you know an opening, but the fried liver attack is not a real opening. So I'm just gonna show you two of my favorite openings, one for white and one for black that works very well against any opponent you will face. The first opening that I play for white is the queen's gambit. And look, you don't have to use this one, it doesn't really matter what opening you use, as long as it's not the bomb cloud or the coca-cola gambit, you'll be fine. If you know your opening really well, your opponent will blunder. This is a scientific fact. Don't believe me? Look at how quickly this 800 player blunders this game away. I play the typical queen's gambit moves, developing my pieces, he takes the gambited pawn, and as soon as he tries to defend his pawn, I already know what to do. A4, his bishop comes out, takes takes. I I take the rook and take back the pawn, and right here, look at this position. My knight is staring at this pawn, he has no pieces defending it, so he goes knight a6 trying to defend it. I throw my queen in there, and now we have this discovered check coming. Bishop b4 check. I should have just moved my knight back and won a bunch of material, but I move my king. Even with this mistake, I take the pawn, double check, king moves, I take the bishop, my opponent blunders his queen, and resigns immediately. And right now, I know you're probably saying, well, if my opponents were this bad, I would also be 1900. But no, this player isn't actually that bad, they just didn't play any opening. You're typically not meant to try and defend your pawn if you're playing against the queen's gambit. And since I was comfortable in this situation and already knew what to do when someone tried to defend their pawn, I barely even had to think about the moves I made. But you still don't know enough yet to go into the world by yourself. What happens when you get past the opening stages into uncharted territory? Right now, you'll probably panic and get checkmated five times in the same game. But this is how you fix that issue, especially around the 800 through 1500 rating range. And it can be explained in two simple words. Don't blunder. And I know, wow, what a revolutionary idea, but it's actually pretty simple. Because between the ratings of 100 and 1500, almost every single player I've seen has blundered in the opening stages of the game. If you obey step one and know your opening, problem solved, you will not blunder. But is it really that easy? Well, look at how quickly this 1500 rated player blunders in this 10 minute rapid game. The opening I play for black is usually the French defense, since you can play it against pretty much anything. They castle, I move my knight out putting pressure on the central pawns. A few moves later, we trade some pieces and I take control of this file with my rook. And boom! Just like that, my opponent blunders a pawn. Next move, they blunder again. I could have taken this rook completely for free, but you don't even have to see these things to beat people of this rating. Because look at what happens just a few moves later. I play f6, which isn't a good move at all. But this 1500 plays rook c1 and gets violently forked and resigns the game there. In the first 15 moves of the game, my opponent blundered a pawn and an entire rook. Oh, but it's just that specific player that was bad at the game! All right, this 1200 blunders three pawns in the opening, and I'm just playing my normal French defense. This 900 blunders a pawn in the opening. This 800 blunders a pawn in the opening. This 1400 gets his pawn into a bad situation in the opening, which causes it to be lost later on in the game. Do not underestimate the power of an opening. If you know your chess opening and play it how it's supposed to be played, I guarantee you your opponent will blunder a piece or two, if not the entire game in the opening alone. But this still isn't enough for you to go out into the world on your own yet. How do you become able to see these pieces that your opponent blunders? And in the mid game to end game, how do you make Make sure that you don't blunder. Well, this is actually a very easy fix. If we take a look at all these blunders that I brought up earlier, how long do you think these people thought of the move they made before making that bad move? The average time that each player spent about this bad move that they made was about one to two seconds. I don't think it takes a Scientologist to discover why these people are blundering so much. They're playing like there's a nuclear missile headed towards their house and they have to finish the game before it lands. Unless this is the case, I would recommend thinking about any move you make for at least five to ten seconds, even if you think it's a pretty obvious move, which means you're gonna have to play longer games. For preferably 15 to 30 minute games or higher. It will mean that you play less games, but you learn much more from those games than from spamming 500 bullet games in a single day, which is what I do now. And my rating hasn't caught up in a while, so don't do this. So if you can't remember all these steps, save the video by liking it, and you can always come back and rewatch it later. Anyway, that's, that's it. Okay, goodbye.